Well, we're here with the new recruit for the Cessnock Goannas, Liam Foran. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, thanks. A little bit like England. It's a little bit chilly up here tonight. Mate, I was driving up and it, uh, it was a little bit colder. I put the, uh, put the heat on in the car. So, uh, mate, it's good to be back. You know, um, obviously it's freezing over there, man. It's seven, eight degrees. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good to be back here. Mate, uh, let's wind the clock back. Of course, you come from across the ditch. Good old New Zealand boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously a Kiwi. Um, come over here when I was 10, 11 and um, played a lot of junior footy kind of at um, Asquith Magpies mm. in, um, in Hornsby. Um, and yeah, just kind of a bit of a journeyman, I suppose. I've been, um, I've been to uh, Manly, I've, you know, I've been overseas, played, played in the Super League over there with um, Salford. Yeah and um, just come back from over there being with the London Broncos. So um, I've been to a few clubs, but um, just uh, yeah, just looking forward to the opportunity of coming, coming to Cessnock and um, obviously playing on the weekend. Mate, how did you end up at Cessnock? Craig was just mentioning that you, you knew his son earlier on um, when you were down at the Melbourne Storm. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Um, we played a bit of footy down there at the Melbourne Storm when we were both 17, 18, and um, kind of stayed in touch with him mm. and, and realised he was still up here at the... Um, at Newcastle and that, so I flipped him a text and he told me that his dad Barney got the got the um, the gig and um, obviously uh, you know it's just good to be good to be here. My mum lives in um, Terrigal, so it's only 45 minutes down the freeway and um, and yeah, my partner and I are expecting a baby, so we're we're kind of happy to be back and just going to relish the opportunity of being here at Cessnock. You know, it's a great uh, country town and I know everyone loves their footy here, so I'm certainly going to go out there on the weekend and put my best foot forward. Well, that's it. I mean, a lot of NRL players, they always like to go over to England, but sometimes the lifestyle gets the better of them. Yeah, no, that's right. Um, I've, I've suppose since I come over from New Zealand, we've always kind of been, been there or thereabouts to the beach. So um, the beach is, you know, a, a beautiful thing to wake up to every morning, have a coffee and, and go for a stroll. So that's definitely the lifestyle is, is a fair bit different over there. So what you're saying is you didn't really like the fog and the mist of uh, northern England? It's not really not. It's not... Uh, it's not nice waking up and walking down the road to get a coffee in snow. So, yeah. Mate, um, obviously you went over there, you played for Salford, and then, of course, you joined the London, London Broncos. Um, so what's the story there? You got a release from the Broncos to come back here to Australia? Yeah, so I originally had a three-year deal at Salford and, and, and played a, there, uh, a year there, then decided to come back. Uh, came back and then got, got an offer to go to the London Broncos. Um, took up that offer and... We were over there for probably uh, six six months or so, and um, my partner and I decided, you know, um, it's probably better if we come back. We're a bit closer to family, and you know, family is very important. So we, we decided to come back, and and I'm looking forward to a new challenge, a new chapter in my life. So um, I suppose it all starts here at Cessna. Starts here on Saturday up against uh, last year's premiers, Western Suburbs, which ironically, you know, Craig Miller has won three premierships with in three years. So if he knows how to beat them, uh, it'll be on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've been talking to him a little bit about um, about West, and obviously he's got a fair bit of knowledge there. So um, hopefully that, you know, that's an advantage to us on the weekend. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, you know, we'll go out there and we'll, we'll uh, definitely have a, uh, you know, give it, give it our best crack. And I'll definitely be, be going out there to... Um, to, to have a great game for the fans and um and the little you know country town Cessna. Mate, obviously you'd be looking to uh, form a partnership with the number seven Willie Hedder. Yeah, yeah, me and Willie played a little bit of football um, back in New South Wales Cup and, and also a little bit over in New Zealand together. So we know each other and um, I'm sure over the coming weeks we'll form we'll, we we should form a pretty good combination and um and hopefully and you know enjoy our footy and have a bit of fun. So mate, personally, what do you want to get out of the 2015 season? Mate, I just want to um I suppose just enjoy enjoy footy enjoy being back yeah. um enjoy you know making some new mates here good combinations obviously you know it'd be great to win a win a premiership here um and obviously you can't control what happens in the future but um if i'm playing good footy and and you know i'm going out there and, and being positive and you know my life's good I'm, I'm sure things will take care of itself well that's exactly right i mean every rugby league player is ambitious so of course you know if you do perform on the park this year who knows what next year and the years ahead will bring? Maybe back in the NRL at some point. Yeah, I suppose um, once you've had a taste of the NRL um, and you've played in some big games, which I got the opportunity to, you know, there's nothing ever like that feeling um, of playing in front of 50,000 fans. So, um, you know, if that opportunity comes up again, I'm, you know, I, I would definitely jump at it. But you know, at the moment, I'm just going to concentrate on playing good footy and enjoying enjoying it. So, what's the game plan on Saturday? How do you beat the Rosellas? <laughs> 
Well, I suppose uh, you know it all starts tonight. Um, just trying to get get our combinations going, building slowly, and um, and I'm sure come um, come game day, you know, we'll, we would have ticked most of the boxes. So um, yeah, just can't wait, can't wait. Well, a few more sleeps away, so good luck with that. Thanks very much. We'll talk to you throughout the year and uh, go get them. Cheers.